All praises to the Most High. So I lost a couple subscribers for speaking the truth. And that really doesn't bother me. It just shows me that you have no relationship with God. And that you won't go on a three-day fasting to find out the truth from God. Because Proverbs 8 and 14, Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. If you want understanding about anything, you ask God. Let God be true and every man a liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. Okay? Revelations 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So with all you getting your wisdom, make sure you get understanding. And the only way you could get understanding is if you get the understanding from God. The only way you'll get the truth is if you ask from God. Let every man be, a, let God be true and every man a liar. I am understanding. So with all you're getting, make sure you get understanding of what you read and what you know or what you think you know or what you've learned. Get wisdom and get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. So you're supposed to get wisdom and get understanding. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Are you spending time in your secret place? Because I want to put up the other parts of the video God wants me to teach on to you and explain the scriptures. But it's like, I feel like, why should I do it? And he still wants me to do it. But feelings and doing what God wants you to do, you, you have to push your feelings aside. And I feel like the work that I put in for God it's appreciated by him, but there's a lot of scuffers who come and try to, you know, spy out my liberty in Christ and spy out my walk with God and try to test the power of God in me and the knowledge and wisdom of God in me when I'm just doing the will of God and what he tells me to do. I, I'm not I'm not here to please anybody. I'm only here to please God. If there be people of God in the body of Christ that I reach out to, all love, peace, prosperity, and light onto them, and happy that I can give them the understanding of the scriptures, what God has given me. May God bless and keep them. But to the other ones who come to spy out my liberty in Christ, are to scuff and to be with prideful imaginations on what they think the scriptures mean. I, the scriptures mean what God tells you it, it means. It's called God's word. So if you want to know what God's word means, you need to ask God because he told you he is understanding and counsel is his. So when I get the understanding and the counsel from him and he says, teach this unto my people, tell this to my people, show them through the scriptures. I'm not doing it out of a malicious place. I'm doing it out of the will of God and what he told me to do. And I don't want to be in disobedience. And whoever this needs to, to hear this, you need to hear this. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this for those in the body of Christ who love God for real. I'm doing this for those who are repenting and are genuine in their repentance. I'm doing this for God first and foremost because I love him and without God, I'm nothing.